You got the southeast. You got Florida and all that. So, I mean, that's a whole other show, Tim Boyle. <laughs> that's the big leagues. That is the big leagues. As we get ready for kickoff here, Glacier Peak in the white jerseys. It looks the like Wolverines we're gonna, Bellevue. Looks like Linney's going to kick off, and they've been kind of trading between Linney and sometimes Corwin kicks off, but. Uh, yeah, it looks like we got Lenny kicking off tonight. We'll also try and get, uh, we got a lot of Wesco 3A action and also overall high school football 4A and 3A action tonight. We'll try and get you as many scores as we can throughout the night as David Lenny is ready to kick off. And deep to receive for Bellevue is, I believe, Morales. Oh, great kick. Goes deep into the end zone, and that'll be an automatic touchback. And that's why they kick. That's why they use Lenny to kick off because he can actually bury that thing in the end zone. And again, high school football, you're not allowed to run something out of the end zone, so takes away any big plays from Bellevue starting out of the gate. We'll try to get you that Snohomish. Snohomish is playing Federal Way tonight, and I, I know a lot of our listeners are going to have some interest in that game. So we'll uh, we'll try to bring that to you. Again, a very uh, hustle you have. Tyler Hasting as the quarterback, number one. Back to pass. Usually don't pass. Now he's got pressure. Call. Now he gets out of it. Now he goes downfield. He's got a wide open Morales. It's over his head and incomplete. Wow, and that's surprising. You know, we're expecting Bellevue to run, you know, out of the wing tee. They're going to run about 80-plus percent of the time. Uh, so they open it up with a... Uh, Open it up with a pass, and that's great coverage by Glacier Peak. He had nowhere to go with that, and uh, offensive line sure gave him some good time back there. Tyler Hasty again, one of the fastest kids on this uh, uh, high, just tremendous athletes. Hard to catch him for a sack, Tim. Second and ten, they hand it off to the up back. Gets about five yards on that, Scott. And it is hard to follow that. I wasn't sure where that ball was going. See, I like believe that was John Wynn on the carry. Brandon Hershey on the tackle. Yeah, Miles Jack. Talk to him about it for a second. He actually was in the Bellevue Juniors uh, system, played here, and then he actually moved to, I believe, Georgia, then yes. came back this year. Yep. He was granted uh, entry. Uh, just tremendous athlete, big player, and he did well. He had... Uh, some good carries, some good yardage last week against Liberty. They hand it oh, off. That's going to be it. That's going to be a false start or a legal procedure on the Grizzlies, so that's going to back them up back to the 20-yard line. Or oh, excuse me, that was on Bellevue, so it's backing them up to the 20. I'm so used to saying penalty on the Grizzlies. The Glacier Peak Grizzlies come into tonight with where is my note? 800 plus yards in penalties combined. Scott, we're not season. here to talk about the past. No, we're not. <laughs> but they have had a penalty-ridden season so far. So we're at now third and ten for Bellevue. Out of the shotgun is Hasty. Back to pass again. Getting some pressure. Oh. Now he breaks containment. Another a flag. flag. And AK-47 tries to tackle him. He gets down to the 32 or 3-yard line. Okay, so the official threw that out of the backfield. So more than likely, that's going to be a holding. So they'll probably take that penalty and make it 3rd and 20. Again on Hasey when he get two passes out of the first series. Well, Are you kidding me? And listen to the Grizzly fans. And, you know, great effort for the Grizzlies to travel. It looks like I'm telling you, they got more fans in the stadium than Bellevue does. You see Marcus Hurd, the four-year senior, raising his arms to the crowd. You might be able to. They are right below us where we're positioned on the visitor uh, stands on the opposite side. So you'll probably hear them tonight. Ron's saying we got double the fans that Bellevue does. So Not a huge crowd at Bellevue. I think you saw that uh, pregame, and it hasn't filled in much. It looks like a, a, a typical Mariner crowd. Well, there's more arriving. people in the marching band for Bellevue. than <laughs> Bellevue's got more, literally, they got more in the marching band than they do got, they have fans out there. Okay, so here we go, folks. We're looking at third and 24. So Glacier Peak accepts the wow. uh, holding again. Third and 24 now. See if they'll run the ball. Or if they're going to pass He's it. out of the shotgun. Oh, now no, he's, he's under center. center. Hasty, he's under center. Movement on Glacier uh, Peak. Probably encroachment on Glacier Peak. 
And I think that's Neil Drewliner, the Freightliner, 53. Well, that's going to make it third and 19, so a little more manageable, but that's a you don't want to do that if you're the Grizzlies. you got them backed up at third and 24 on the, their, like, six-yard line. Does it change your play, Tim? Uh, not really. <laughs> You don't have a lot of plays in the book for third and 24. So crouching under center is Hasty. Fakes the hand up. Now gets to Morales on the right side, on the left side, far side. Breaks one tackle. Now the beginning, middle of the field. He makes up a lot of distance, and I think he got a first down. I think down. he did too. Austin Smedroot. Smeds finally wraps him up, but... Welcome to Wolverine football. Third and 19, and they get a first down. They do, and that, you know, costly penalty. He might have got it anyway. So a huge break brings them all the way out to their own 36 yard line now. Again, Hasty under center. 21 gets the ball, breaks it up as there takes a gang of Grizzlies to get him down. That's Miles Jack again. Yeah, and he probably has got another first down. And you notice there, there's a lot of Grizzlies hitting him. And uh, Steve Hannon told me before the game, we got to tackle well. If we're going to win this game, we got to be able to tackle. Caribou finally one of the Grizzlies. Alex Caribou, AK-47. Dragging him down. They did give him the first down, too. So first and ten now from their own 46-yard line. Under center is Hasty. He does. Oh, it's oh, on the ground, but Hasty goes right into his bread basket. AK hits him. Eludes that tackler down the far sideline for another first down, and they'll call him at the 40-yard line into Glacier Peak territory. And that's a great break for Bellevue. You know, the ball's loose and rolling around. A heads-up play by Hasty. He grabs it, and he gets, what, 10, 15 yards out of a broken play. So, As you continue to see the Glacier Peak players get one hit on these guys, not wrapping up, and that is dangerous. Now well, they're hard to tackle. First and 10 from now the Grizzly 40-yard line. Hasty in the shotgun now. Hands it off to the end up the middle. Win. And he gains a bucket of yards. Finally taken again by Brandon Hershey down hey. for the Glacier Peak Grizzlies. And he's close to another first down, so uh, they're kind of... They're doing the smash mouth football. That's the problem with how they're running the this. They keep doing this all night in Glacier Peak. It tires your defense out quite a bit. Make it a very short game. 9.20 left. Opening minutes of the first quarter. No score. Second and two for Hasty. That's win. And he's got it. And he's got the first down on the right side. So Bellevue with their third consecutive first down on this opening drive and opening series. Again, 9.02 left, no score. Glacier Peak, again, the coaches said, Tim, you know, we're not probably going to stop them most times. We just have to contain and make sure they're just not scoring and scoring and scoring. That's Morales on the far side. He gets a, oh, and it's a fumble. fumble. Glacier, Glacier Peak, Peak has the ball. And that's the break they're looking for, Scott. That is the exactly what they're looking for. That's two fumbles now they've forced on them. And you can't keep fumbling the ball and expect to get it back every time. Fumble Ruski for Glacier Peak. The first turnover of the game for Bellevue. It has been an issue on the slight occasion for the Wolverines this year. Opening even with Oak Christian had a couple fumbles yep. that game. And let's break this down. Glacier Peak gets them all the way down to the six-yard line for third and 24. Unfortunately, they give up the, four, the first down, but then Bellevue fumbles. They get a break and get it back, and now they fumble again, and uh, Glacier Peak capitalizes. So here we go, folks. I think, uh, again, look for the replay next week here on STSPN, but Carson Call ripped that ball out. As they line up now for offense, David Linney in the shotgun. Gives it to Quentin, Quentin Dunbar, Dunbar, and he'll just maybe get a yard, Tim. Not much on the end around there for Dunbar. Maybe a yard. Again, if you're watching tonight, you can email us during the game as Kyle Benz gets the...
tackle for the Wolverines at Scott at SnohomishTimes.com and Tim at SnohomishTimes.com. Send us an email. Say hello. Lenny now gives it to hey, Caribou. Hey. Not so much doing there. He's back to, you know, right around the line of scrimmage. They had him at second and nine. They'll be close to third and nine or third and eight at their own 34-yard line. That's a pretty big defensive line you're looking at for Bellevue. They got some big boys up there, and uh, Glacier Peak's not able to push them around. So Again, their big defensive guy, that's Messiah Spicer, is 5'11", number 71 there on the near side. They do absolutely have some, some giants. Kyle Benz, third and eight. Lenny back to pass. Keep now he's got he's a big got opening. Room. Goes to the middle, makes and dies for a first down for Glacier Peak. Great move by the quarterback, David Lenny. And that'll move the chains for him, exactly what they're looking for. Although Glacier Peak's not going to want to be sitting looking at third and eight and third and nine every time. But uh, heads up play by the senior quarterback. So the first first down puts him at the Glacier Peak 35-yard line. The senior quarterback, David Lenny, having a good season this year. Fakes the handoff. Now a little wing tee themselves. AK-47 yeah. breaks through and gets over the 40 up to the 44-yard line, 43. And the Grizzlies are showing them that they can run the ball too. Sean Constantine, the Captain Junior, number six for Bellevue on the tackle. Good opening uh, first play. Now leaves him second at three with 6.42 left in the first quarter. And that's what they want to do. They want to be looking at like second and twos and second and threes all day long. Bellevue creeping up now. Lenny back to pass. Oh. Overthrows intended for Dalton Pittis. Almost. Incomplete. Dangerous throw there, almost uh, got could have got picked off. Leaves him at a short third down and three to go again on their own 42-yard line. Lenny's getting the nerves rattled out of his system there. Big year for David Lenny. This is his first year. He is a senior, but starting a quarterback this year. Missed one game, sat out for disciplinary reasons, but coming into tonight, eight eight games, had a very good statistical year both on the ground and in the air and he yeah he's had a good year he's had some struggles and uh, but the offense certainly runs smoother with him back there Dunbar in motion Lenny back to pass getting pressure almost goes down now he gets rid of it oh he, incomplete Trying for Evan Nelson, probably be better off just to take the ball, tuck it, and run to get the first down. He actually could have had a first down, I think, on that had he kept it. So that'll Fourth leave Fourth and three, what are they going to do? I think this is where they typically would go for it during the season. So they struggled with this last year against Mount Sy on the first couple opening drives in the playoffs, but... Uh, Coach is going to stick with his bread and butter. He's going for it. Quad divisional playoff action here. Bellevue Wolverines. Glacier Peak. He fakes the pass one day. Now, oh, Elledge, but he's caught. He doesn't even catch the ball. They're going to call that incomplete. Tried the little screen past him, and it's I don't know if he would have gotten if Elledge would have caught that ball. Well, if Elledge would have caught it, he would have lost two or three yards because the guy was all over him. So a good defensive stand by Bellevue. Glacier Peak got a couple first downs there, had some momentum going, and then Bellevue, they were sitting at third and three, and they couldn't couldn't do it. Well, They'll get the ball turned over on down. They actually sitting there at second and three. Oh, second and, and three, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, couldn't quite convert, so they'll need to do a better job there. The senior hasty under center. Now he's to win on the left side, has a crease. Gets down the left, not far side. He's in the 20. One tackle to beat. And he's going to dance in for a Bellevue Wolverine touchdown. Well, that's exactly what Glacier Peak didn't want. You know, they turn it over on downs on that fourth down. Uh, probably in retrospect, they should have punted that ball and uh, give Bellevue a short field, and they capitalized just like that. Well, tough break by Kino Wong, the sophomore there. Missed a tackle there, although... He's, he, he's got to get in line. There's been a lot of guys who've missed uh, John, John Wynn trying to tackle him. On for the extra point. 
Six nothing right now, Bellevue Wolverines. It is up and it is good. Their place kicker, Mitch Johnson, a senior 6-1, been outstanding this season and he kicks it through. He's actually got some, some major leg. He can put one through 30 plus. So well, seven nothing, Wolverines up on Glacier Peak here in the first quarter, 6.05, less to go. Well, Wolverines draw first blood, now Glacier Peak. The silver lining is they're gonna get the ball back real quick here and uh, they gotta put something together. You can see the score on your screen on the top left-hand corner. That's Bellevue is up 7-0. A breakthrough in technology here at STSPN.com. That's uh, right up there with Pong and Asteroids getting, the, <laughs> yes. getting that up there. We are so happy to be here. We're happy to have you. Of course, we're happy because we're in a heated booth. Let's just that be is honest. nice being in the heated booth. We've even got a heater up here. It is a chilly. You might be able to hear it in the background, actually. <laughs> We've got a chilly, chilly first Friday night, November. First Friday of November night here in Bellevue. But I don't see any raindrops, and that's a good thing for everybody. So Mitch Johnson off to kick. And you got Sean Elledge on the far side and Evan Nelson on the near side. You don't want to kick to either one of those Goes guys. Goes to Elledge, gets it at the 10. Up the far side, and he'll get bounced out of bounds around the 25, and that's where Glacier Peak will start their second offensive series of the game. Again, hope you're enjoying action tonight live on STSPN.com. Again, want to make sure everybody knows we are going – have plans to broadcast live streaming basketball as well. Sponsorship opportunities, Mr. Boyle, are still available. They are still available, but they're going fast. Go to SnohomishTimes.com for more information. So, first and ten for Lenny. Fakes the hand up. No, he does hand it off the left side, and he is brought down hard and hit a big blue wall. Well, the, the defensive line is going to be hard to push around for Bellevue. Trying to see who led the, led the tackling there. Elias Chappelle, maybe, 33. Big number 50 there, big number 71. They have shut out quite a few schools this year and and last year. Lenny up top, high, oh, got wide up, he's caught up Elledge. to 50. There Elledge. he goes, it's a foot race. 30, is he gonna get caught? He's finally driving oh, down. That, you know what, it's a horse collar. They're gonna, it's gonna be half the distance to the goal there, but that's only gonna give him about two yards. Wow. And just like that, Glacier Peak responds. Sean Elledge connects with David Lenny for a ginormous pass completion all the way down to the two-yard line. And the Wolverines are hands on their hip, Tim Boyle. They are. Absolutely. They weren't, they weren't expecting that. And uh, Elledge is coming through just like he has been all year. And I think it's going to be a personal foul, too, in addition to that. So... It's going to net him about one yard, maybe a half a yard. It's going to be that ball is right on about the six-inch line of Bellevue. So they need to punch it in. They really need to convert on this. 75-yard pass completion, Linney to Sean Elledge on the right side. And you saw the speed of the Bellevue Wolverines. And, and Elledge is no slouch either. He when he gets the ball, he runs. He's got that nose for the end zone. And right now he's kicking himself. He wanted to get in there bad. First and goal for the Grizzlies. A little bit of a pistol formation there for the Grizzlies. On the one-yard line. Get it to Elledge, but he's hitting the backfield. And he'll be dropped for a loss. A gang of tacklers for the Wolverines. Constantine in there. Kyle Benz in there. Again, very fast, explosive defense yeah, for Bellevue. Yeah, he had nowhere to go. And he probably, well, they gave him forward progress. He still lost. It looks like he still lost a yard or two. A couple, couple yards. 
No coming into the game, one of the key offensive linemen, senior Riley Argue is out today with a concussion. So you got Matthew Nicholson up front. Big task for the Glacier Peak Grizzlies. Second now and goal from now the four yard line. Lenny. And Lenny on the keeper and he has nowhere to go. I think they need to spread that. They need to spread it out a little bit because that they're just not able to move that line. Again, Kyle Benz there along with Miles Jack. The heralded running back, also a great defensive player as well. Well, you don't want to waste that 75-yard uh, reception by Sean Elledge. They need to convert here. As we see Smedrude come out and Dalton Pittis checks in for Glacier Peak, sitting at third and goal now from the three. Down 7-0, Glacier Peak trying to tie it up here. Lenny in the shotgun, rolls to his left. Now he's got nowhere to go. He just lets it loose, Ooh. incomplete. And luckily, Elledge was there. They would have they would have thrown the flag for intentional grounding because Lenny just got that got rid of that ball in desperation. And uh, fortunately, Elledge was kind of within about five yards of it. Messiah Spicer, 71. Kyle Benz. I mean, they were just hair on fire. They they just walked right through the line. It looks like they're going to go for a field goal here. Well. Fourth down at the three-yard line. It looks like they're kicking a field goal. 15 lane Pilon on to is the regular placeholder. Looks like right from the 10-yard line. So at least try to come away with some, some points tonight. The hold is good. Lenny's up, good. and it is... Good. Okay, well, Glacier Peak responds. Not exactly what they wanted out of that when they have it first and goal on the one-yard line. However, they'll take the three and now uh, got themselves a close ball game. So just like that, a good series for Glacier Peak. Bellevue now 7-3 with 3.04 left to go in the first quarter. Well, and did Glacier Peak expose a weakness in the secondary on that? I mean... Elledge got behind somebody. I have seen a little bit of tape of Bellevue, and they, they sometimes are vulnerable. Again, Hasty is a tremendous cor uh, cornerback, free safety. But the other thing on the offensive side, I mean, Bellevue already just early, early, eight carries for 110 yards, averaging 13-plus per rushing Yeah, and they're, gonna carry. Need to, they're really going to need to change that because uh, that's going to make it a long day for the Grizzly defense. A 76-yard pass completion, Sean Elledge. That set up the field goal from Linney from the 10-yard line. So Linney back to kick now. Deep to receive. It's Looks like it's... Nope, he can't return it. It was just, he had his foot just inside the goal line. So that's sorry Morales trying to take that one back. And that's he needs to go. Do they have an acting class here in Bellevue? He needs to little, do a little more work there. <laughs> that Morales does? Yeah, I mean he didn't really he didn't sell it hard to he the didn't. official. He probably knew. Well the official was right there. But yeah, if that would have been like an inch shorter of a kick, they would have been able to run that back. So Bellevue starting on their 20-yard line. Tyler Hasty in the shotgun now. Gets the handball on the left side. And that's Miles Jack with the carry. Not, not much doing there. And that, that actually fooled me on the play. It looked like Hasty was keeping it. They do a really good job selling that. That might have been win on the carry. That was Jack. Okay. Saw Wynn limping a little bit as he came back to the huddle. Second now and nine in motion. Hasty back to pass. He's got it open. It's complete. But tackled right at the 25. Good. That was win on the completion. Good play by the defense. So it's going to be looking at third and five now. Nathan Bussing ran out from the linebacker's position to get the tackle for Glacier Peak. 
seems like uh, Bellevue's obviously a lot more effective when they're running running out of that wing tee than passing. So third and five now for Bellevue. Oh, it looked like they started. Yep. They did. They That's started too bring fast. It. It's going to be a false start on the Wolverines. It's going to make it third and ten. It's exactly what Glacier Peak wants because five yards isn't too hard for them to get. Well, we said they were averaging like 13, so. Jason Cook, the sophomore on the right side there, looked like he got a little jump before things got started. So third and 10 now for Bellevue. On their own 20 yard line. Hasting under center, Hasty. Now he hands it off. No, it's around the left side. Breaks uh -oh. the tackle. He's into the mid-stripe. One guy to beat. Look at him go. Evan Nelson trying to track him down oh, to the Elledge. Oh, and he's going to get a... There's laundry all over the field on that. They horse He horse-collared him, but... Well, Morales is the sp one of the speediest guys in the entire King Co. League. Well, Elledge caught him, but he had to grab... The only thing he could do is grab him by the... Grab him in a horse collar, and uh, we've got an injured Wolverine back at the Wolverine 23-yard line. Try to see who that is. And Elledge that saved a touchdown. So big plays here for both teams. Boy, they're rushing. Morgan Ritchie, another sophomore, number 76. Hope he's all right. They're bringing it back. Oh, offsetting penalties. It could be a hold. Oh, it's my goodness. It's coming all the way back. That's a big break for the Grizzlies there. So and it looks like there must have been a hold. That offsets the horse collar by Sean Elledge. Bring it back. Third down over. Third and ten again. Huge break for the Grizzlies. Well, Morales already two carries, 24 yards. That's going to hurt him. He would have had a huge play right there. Like a 70-yarder. So both teams getting huge runs, and then we, that's a devastating Well, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a double whammy for Bellevue. They negate that monstrous run by Morales and then they have to then they get one of their offensive line being carried off the field there. Morgan Ritchie the sophomore 6'4 240 pounds sophomore being helped off the field hope he's okay. So now Bellevue <laughs> they'll have to wake up it's it's almost out of a dream now they're still sitting at third and ten from their own 20. That Glacier Peak's gonna need to find a way to stop those type of plays. Hasty now you can hear the Glacier Peak crowd underneath cheering on the Grizzly defense. Fakes it now, pass. he's in trouble. Oh. He gets rid of it. It's, it's intercepted, intercepted by Timmy Douglas. Jimmy Douglas. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Glacier Peak. Wow, Holy just like crap. that. And the Grizzlies take the lead on number 12 ranked Bellevue, folks. Grizzlies take the lead. Tyler Hasty at traffic and he just dumps it right into the Rudy hands of <laughs> Timmy Douglas and he Timmy takes Douglas. It. the pick six. Wow. That is incredible. And that was a bad move by Hasty. He should have he should have taken the sack on that. Lenny with the extra point and just so like of that, it is Glacier Peak 10. The Bellevue Wolverines seven, and now the sparse crowd across the field is a little worried. And Tim you Lowe. can hear a pin drop across the field, Scott. And Glacier Peak fans are all going crazy right now. 10-7 Grizzlies, ladies and gentlemen. 106 minutes six left in this exciting first uh, quarter right now, as a lot of the kids are hands on their hip walking back. You know, and Coach Rowe official. told us before the game, he said, hey, they got to come in and they got to know they can win this game. 
Well, mistakes is what can even the playing field on any night, and that's what's so fun about high school football and athletics. These kids are kids. You know, Hasey's trying to make a play. He, Bad decision. He didn't get out of the pocket and got some And he just kind of chucked it. He was afraid he was going to get sacked, and he kind of chucked it. And, hey, that's two turnovers in the first quarter for uh, Bellevue. So definitely gives uh, the Grizzlies some added juice here in the early going as they're up 10-7. As David Lenny, the quarterback and kicker, sets and the kick off. And we should mention, you know, David Lenny's got some some Division One lookers on as a field goal kicker. And yeah, so he's special. got a leg, without a doubt. And that, that man, ball may not is quite make it. Oh, he fumbled it. Fumbled. Morales now at the 15, gets ahead of speed uh -oh. at the 40. And oh, John Elledge. Brings well, him down, but not until he gets all the way to the Wolverine 45. Unfortunately, there's laundry on the field, and about 90% of the time, that's going to be an illegal block in the back, some type of block on the kicking on the receiving team. So it's going to probably be a break for the Grizzlies there. Morales uh, leaning over a little bit. Boy, he is exciting to watch. Uh, he is, and he picked that ball up like no problem. Didn't didn't panic. He just picked it up and ran. Unfortunately, they got a penalty on it's going to bring it back to the 35 yard line 56 seconds left in the first quarter as they'll start now first and 10 from their own 35 tell yard the line. fans what the score is scott it is 10 7 but you see the score don't you oh that's right is the score up there the score is up there first and 10 now hasty quickly oh, back another flag, flag. The and offensive boy. line for Bellevue is firing off the ball. It's just they got to wait for him to pull the trigger. Glacier Peaks got them out of their rhythm right now, and that's that was a key to winning this game is getting them out of their rhythm. And Elledge and Quentin Dunbar, Becerra, they're uh, you know yelling at the fans to start chirping up. Drew Liners all excited, talking to the ref, probably instructing uh, to watch something. Again, first and 15 as the clock uh, winds down here in the first quarter to see if they get this playoff from their own 30-yard line. Hasty under center. Takes it. Now he gets the handoff, and it's fake, but he's Hasty has got on the near side, breaking tackles, slipping through. Did he put something on his Boy. legs? Boy, he sure does break some tackles. They could have had him for a, you know, four or five yard loss instead he gets about eight or nine yards and uh you know they're still going to be staring at uh they're still going to need about another uh eight or nine for the first down because of the penalty uh, the ball's going back it is another, another holding, holding on bellevue wow they and clean they are up the penalty they are going the wrong direction Again, it's just as hard for our camera to see who has the ball as obviously us. I didn't even <laughs> actually see a flag on the field on that. I'm kind of surprised. Now, <laughs> Bellevue's kind of getting penalized like Glacier Peak has been all year. As Hasty throws his hand warmer to the far side of the field. Hasty's obviously uh, not happy about something. And uh, with 25 seconds, that's a timeout for Bellevue as the Glacier Peak Grizzly faithful travel down from Snohomish are excited to play of the boys in the white and the silver helmets wow. tonight, Tim Boyle. And after the break, Scott, they're going to be looking at first and 25, so the Grizzlies got them out of their rhythm right now. The well, problem is, is when they get in their rhythm, they're breaking those huge plays, but uh, well, the Grizzlies mistakes. are doing a good job of just punching them right in the nose. Mistakes have been killing the Wolverines. Want to say hello to a good friend Jeff Gretto out and the big island of Hawaii where it's a lot warmer than it is here tonight in the Pacific Northwest. Jeff, hope you and Cindy are doing well, and thanks That's for watching. That's not really fair, email, emailing us from Hawaii. We said email us, but not from Hawaii. I mean, come on. We're in, we're in here. Well, we are in the booth. It kind of feels like Hawaii in the booth. That's right, Jeff, a big fan of high school football. Used to live in the Bothell area, go to the Bothell game. So I uh, hope he's enjoying the broadcast tonight. He's probably sipping a Mai Tai while he's listening to us. He probably might be. So the Big Island, one of our favorite islands there in the great islands of Hawaii. But it's not Hawaii here in Bellevue tonight, Tim. It's well, gotta be. right now there's no picnic for the Wolverines here. 
They got to get it together. First and 25 on the 20. 25 seconds left to go just in the first quarter. Tons of action here. We hope you've enjoyed it and hope you haven't missed a second. Glacier Peak leading Bellevue 10 to 7 here as Tyler Hasty goes under center. Now he looks up. There's uh, the officials now. Oh no, it's another it's another flag against Bellevue. They're going to be looking at first and 30, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you told we told you that I don't they, know. I didn't see if that was delay a game or some type of illegal procedure. Well, Glacier Peak came into this game with 800 plus yards and penalties, but that is not the case tonight. They have caught the penalty flu here in Bellevue. Hasty. Now on the end up the middle is Elledge. Boy, they're hard to bring down. It took about five Grizzlies to take him down on that play. John Wynn, the ball carrier. They are tackling the ball, which uh, it's actually paid off for him, but it's a little bit risky at the same time. They'll give him of a couple as the clock winds down and that's going to do it for the first quarter.